These 10 colon cancer warning signs might save a life. Did you know your body can give out warning signs that your colon is telling you something not right? Do you often feel bloated or tired? How can your poop signal red flags on what's happening from within? We'll be uncovering all this and more so you can catch potential issues before it's too late. Stomach bloating. We've all experienced it at some point. The uncomfortable expansion of our bellies and the gassy eruptions that seem to have a mind of their own. Feeling bloated or experiencing frequent gas and cramps might not send alarm bells ringing immediately, but they could be your body's way of signaling something's up. Picture your colon as a highway, and when there's a traffic jam of a potential tumor, the signals might manifest as these discomforts. Why? Because a growing tumor can disrupt your colon's smooth operation, causing gas buildup and digestive issues. Changes in bathroom habits. Let's talk about the nitty gritty around your bathroom visits. If you notice a sudden shift with ongoing periods of constipation or diarrhea, it's like your body's waving a red flag. Why? Because a colon tumor can disrupt the usual flow causing irregular bowel movements. The tumor's growth can obstruct the passage of stool causing constipation. On the other hand, it might cause irritation and inflammation, leading to a period of diarrhea. So, if your routine becomes a roller coaster that you never experienced before, consider it a message to investigate further. Blood in stool. The sight of blood is usually not cause for celebration. If you notice blood in your stool or on the toilet paper, whether it's bright red or darker in color, it's not something to brush off. Your colon's lining can get irritated by a tumor, leading to bleeding. Now, why is this worrisome? Because colon cancer can often go undetected until it reaches more advanced stages, and blood in your stool is like a spotlight on the situation, urging you to take action. Anemia and ongoing fatigue. Feeling tired all the time, no matter how much sleep you get? Colon cancer commonly causes small, subtle blood leaks that can lead to anemia, a condition where your body lacks enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen. With fewer healthy red blood cells available to carry oxygen around, your cells start feeling oxygen deprived. This oxygen shortage can lead to your body feeling fatigued, weak, and short of breath. If this exhaustion persists despite a good night's sleep, it's a sign that your body is struggling to keep up and requires further evaluation. Abdominal discomfort. That pesky tummy ache, we've all been there. But having it persistently is a different story. As colon cancer grows, it can cause physical pressure on your intestines, leading to cramps, pain, and discomfort. The tumor can also cause inflammation, which triggers the body's pain response. The result? That persistent nagging abdominal discomfort that refuses to go away, and this is alerting you to get checked immediately. Family history. Did you know that your genetics play a role in this too? If your family has a history of colon cancer, it could mean that certain genetic factors put you at a higher risk. These genetic markers might predispose you to develop colon cancer, making it even more crucial to be vigilant about the early signs. Regular screenings become an important practice to catch any potential issues before they escalate into a full-blown health crisis. Nausea or vomiting. Colon cancer's impact isn't limited to your intestines alone. As it grows, it can interfere with your body's ability to process food properly. This disruption might lead to unexplained nausea or vomiting. It's like your gut's flagging something's not right. If these symptoms persist, don't ignore them as they could be part of the puzzle that points to colon cancer. Jaundice. Jaundice might seem far removed from colon health, but it's a potential sign to watch for. If a colon tumor blocks the bile duct, it can lead to a buildup of belly rubin in your bloodstream. This yellow pigment can cause jaundice, turning your skin and the whites of your eyes yellow. It's your body's way of sounding an alarm, indicating that something's affecting your liver's normal function when colon cancer works its way into the liver. Unexplained pain. Sure, aches and pains are part of life, but when they persist without any clear reason, it's time to pay attention. Colon cancer can cause discomfort and pain that's not necessarily related to your digestive system. As the tumor grows, it might press against nearby organs or nerves, leading to unexplained pain in areas like the lower back or pelvis. 
This pain is your body's way of highlighting a potential issue lurking beneath the surface. Unexplained weight loss. This might sound like a dream, but in reality, losing weight without intending to can be a red flag. You see, your body relies on a well-functioning colon to absorb nutrients. Colon cancer often interferes with your body's ability to absorb nutrients efficiently as the cancerous cells grow, leaving you with unexplained weight loss. So, while shedding a few pounds might sound great, when it happens without rhyme or reason, it's time to pay attention. Now that you're armed with knowledge about the early signs and symptoms of colon cancer, what's your next move? It's all about proactive steps and open conversations as we cover the next five steps to take action. One, regular health checkups. Just like you wouldn't skip the oil change for your car, don't skip your regular health checkups. Regular visits to your doctor allow them to monitor your health trends over time, share any concerns or symptoms you've noticed. They're trained to spot even the subtlest hints that something might not be right. Two, follow a fiber-rich diet. Embracing fiber-rich foods like whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and legumes can actually reduce your risk of colon cancer. How does that work? Well, fiber helps keep things moving smoothly through your colon, potentially reducing the chances of tumor formation. Three, get moving, stay active. Studies suggest that staying active can lower your risk of colon cancer. Physical activity keeps your digestive system in shape, encouraging regular and efficient movement of waste. When you move, your colon moves, and that's exactly what you want for a healthy digestive system. So find something that keeps you moving and stick to it. Four, screenings. Screenings are like that magnifying glass that helps you see things even clearer beyond spotting the early signs we've uncovered. Regular screenings, such as colonoscopies, are your best defense for early detection, especially if you have a family history of colon cancer or are above a certain age. They allow medical professionals to catch any potential issues before they become major concerns. Five, spread the word. Knowledge is power, and when it comes to health, sharing is caring. Why not also share this knowledge with your close ones? By spreading awareness about the early signs of colon cancer, you're not just empowering others, you're potentially saving lives. When people know what to look out for, they're more likely to take action if they notice something unusual. Your conversation might be the catalyst for someone else's early detection and successful treatment. Congratulations, you've cracked the code of your body's secret language and uncovered the hidden messages it's been sending. By understanding these early signs of colon cancer, you're armed with the knowledge to decipher your body's signals and respond effectively before they gain momentum. Remember, your body's language might be quiet, but its message is loud and clear. Don't ignore the importance of listening, investigating, and taking early intervention, which can be life-changing. If you've learned a thing or two about colon cancer warning signs and symptoms, you'll also want to check out these other helpful videos. We'll see you there.